Or stick, if you're if you're watching this, I would highly recommend a bone saver hybrid. Is it possible? Is it possible? Like I think that would be insane. And then keep the knob. And keep the knob. Yeah. Yes, keep the knob. Same swing weight, same everything. Just make it a hybrid. Oh, composite, that would composite be, handle. That would be so sick. I think that would be sick. What up, what up? We're here with the baseball bat bros, and today, folks, starting the year with a huge showdown, debuting the new Bone Saber Hybrid from Warstick. I'm very excited about this and seeing if it can challenge the new 2023 gorgeous, gorgeous looking Louisville Slugger Select Power. Let's get it. All right, a couple contenders for the drippiest bat of the year. My goodness, man. First, we have the Louisville Slugger Select Power. $400. I think the Bone Saber is also going to be $400. we are going to fact check that. But very similar bats. Composite handle, alloy barrel, two-piece hybrid. And right now, our top dog in the two-piece hybrid game is the goods. But it's kind of fragile. So next man up, it's going to be one of these two bats, I believe. These should be very comparable, folks. One big difference. You have that Bone Saber handle versus just a slight taper on the select power. And this is currently, I think, our number five overall ranked bat. Let's see if the Bone Saber hybrid is legit. Putting it up against a very, very worthy opponent early on. And we'll have on-field exit velos today with the Rap Soto here. And we're back out here in Ridgefield, home of the Raptors. Kind of a bomb box here today, folks. And the baseballs we're using are these Champ Pro NFHS baseballs. All right, Bone Saber first. Let's tar it up. Hitting without pine tar is like, it's like not seasoning your steak. All right, oh man. All right, just waggle test, bro. In my hands, it feels great. All right, I'm super, uh, I'm super excited about this bat. This select power is so good though. We might have like a really good round with this, pick up the select and be like, oh. Great bunting bat. Excellent. Honestly, such a good bunting bat. Didn't hurt my hands, bro. 39 degrees. Oh my gosh, I'm really excited, dude. dude. It Just hot. little swings, 96.6 miles an hour. It sounds great, man. I've always just said the Bone Saber is a great bat. It's super hot. It's very light swinging. It just rings up your hands. It has a small, unforgiving sweet spot. This design gives it a little more swing weight, and it's really going to make the bat a lot more forgiving. You have some flex. It's going to be a lot bigger feeling barrel. Woo. That felt good. Well, that sounds crazy. Dude, I'm, I'm super excited about this bat, bro. Yeah, oh. it's really got juice. Not a good swing at all. I think oh. it's... Dude! Oh. Yes. Oh. 103 miles an hour, this is nasty. Oh, oh dude. Oh. Okay. 96. Dude, it's forgiving on the hands. This is, oh dude, it, there could be like a durability issue or something, or the select feels way better maybe, but they solved the problem to the bone saver. It's still light swinging. This is not heavy at all. Kind of right in the middle, maybe a four or five swing weight, and just the barrel feels good. It's not ringing me up and it's still hot. That handle feels incredible. Oh my gosh. That's on the street. Woo! 98? Dude. Just swing wise, I think the handle is definitely something you have to get used to a lot. I catch myself kind of rolling over a little bit. I get a little too torquey, a little too whippy sometimes, but I mean, it's just different. Kind of like the axe handle. It's something where you're going to need to get acclimated to it. That got kind of deep on the hands. 101.1. It absolutely flies through the zone yeah, you're winning. my bat speed feels crazy yeah that's i see what you're saying though it's like whippy oh, yeah you smash that ball man like it too 100.3 dude i even caught that a little deep on the hands and it just feels great the feedback kind of similar to the goods honestly feels kind of like a light swing in the goods it's a little bit more flexy and that makes sense with the forgiveness yep. Cause I got a couple of those balls off the end and still kept them pretty straight. It feels great. And I do really like the handle, but it is an adjustment for sure. End of the bat, it's not ringing me up. That's like the biggest thing here. 
94 4. See, that's off the end? That's off the end. And it does not ring you up in 40 degree weather. No, not at all. Amazing. Oh, top spin. That's gone. Yeah. 105.8. Exceeded my expectations. What's the comp? I mean, this is going to sound extreme, but it feels like if the goods and the bone saber had, had a child in a good way. Good looking kid. Great genetics. All day, though. That versus the one piece. That oh, versus this. the one not even close. It's not even close. They did such a good job. They did such a good job with this bat compared to the one piece. Yes. And I really like the one piece too. Same, like that's a great bat for us. That blows it out of the water. Blows it out of the water. They did a great job. Best bat war stick has ever dropped. Easily. Yep. Select power, folks. We all know it's good. Nothing but respect to the bone saber to put it against such a formidable opponent. I love that sound. I wow. love that sound. I'm just going to say it. Best aesthetically looking bat on the so market. So that's your favorite looking bat right By now? By far. Oh my gosh. This is the best freaking bat. Ow! I love it. What? This is nasty. What? 99.7. Okay, here's what I think is going to happen. Swing weight, very comparable. Almost the same, honestly. I think this is going to have an absolute paddle of a barrel. I think on our, on our bat row scale right now, this has a 10 sweet spot, which is very rare. I think Max Velo is gonna be hotter on the bone saber, but the feel, that was just butter. Both of these bats, I'm just in love with. What a video. That sounds so good. Dude, first three swings. <laughs> I choked. <laughs> <laughs> it's not as hot 98.7 but like i'm just catching barrels so easily oh. 99 dude you're right it's not as hot but the barrel is massive massive barrel great forgiveness four for four barrels that ball was absolutely hammered. Let's see where we're at. 101.7. This is one of those bats that is not going to win a lot of hit tracks showdowns unless you put it against like a composite bat. Yeah. But like gamer status, it is something you can just get the barrel to the ball to and it just has so much barrel. Yeah. It feels like you're catching barrel so, so easily. And like that's why a lot of people swing a composite bat, but this is going to be more durable a lot hotter than a composite bat and just as much barrel as like the best composite sweet spots in the game, honestly. So with the bone saber, I flared that off the wall and yeah, there you go. It's just a, it's a little bit softer, 95.5. That was like that same exact hit. one oh one nine. Yeah, you absolutely see And I feel like centered that. Oh, God, that's a gorgeous swing. I love that. I mean, that's a 99.6. That's a double. That is a higher exit velo with the bone saber, 100%. Yep. I'm hitting way better with this well, bat. you like the handle better, right? Here's the thing about the handle. Like, when you say which one I like better, I don't know, because I swing this better and I control the barrel better with this. I swing the bat faster with this. So, like, and also I think I'm just a lot more used to this kind of handle. Yeah. This is a lot more something like you would need to fall in love with over time. Even that, dude. Dude, we're, we're just smashing it. Smashing. That was 98. Okay. See, it's softer. Wow. It's for sure softer, because those two swings I felt were... At the end of the bat. Look at that, though. And this feels great. It's 39 degrees in mid-January right now. I'm, I'm not getting rung up at all. And you're throwing like, you know, decently firm BP. Oh, yeah. oh, that's just about perfect, perfect on VLO. 103.9. So, I mean, really good, but the bone tape is definitely hotter. We're going to get one more like ultra barrel with each. Oh, see, like so the bat speed's crazy, but I, I miss on accuracy a little bit. Yeah. The ball's in the air forever. Oh, see, like, there's a lot more of, like, variability in my contact point. Yep. But if I connect with one. Oh, oh my gosh. To the moon! Oh, my gosh. I can't.
cannot believe I hit it on the street right there. That went really, really far. That car was coming, and I was like, oh, I'm not going to hit the street. Yeah. We're chilling. And then, and then I almost smoked that car. Oh. Yeah. It's literally the same thing. Same round. Oh, dude. Yeah. That's over the forward. Well done. Well done. 102. Oh, buddy. That feels crazy. I know. God, it's hot, dude. You know what I'm saying? Bone saber and the goods. You're, you know, you're definitely right. That's a great comp. More balance than the goods. Oh, 100%, yeah. But you're right, the kid. Yeah. Literally the kid. It's the baby. Holy cow. What a child. Just athlete. Oh. Oh, dude. Got it. 100? Great bag. This does take some getting used to. Yeah. Oh, I just barrel everything. I barrel everything with this bat. Yeah. That's a really hard hit. 102.4. Oh my. Every time. Dude, I mean, you do. Like, that's lower exit velo. This isn't as hot as the Bone Saber, but that's 100 flat. Nice. That's like the best BP round I've ever had. Tough. Gosh. Two bats that like have to be top five. I love, love both of those. Oh. Oh, 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 99. 99. Does it have enough less pop to where you choose the bone saber over it? That's where I'm at, dude. Oh my, that's, what a good comparison, man. Great you pop. nailed this one. And? Yeah, uh, a couple of my favorite bats I've swung. Oh, hands down. Like, I, I don't know if I can think of a video where I've enjoyed swinging the bats as much oh as you did Oh my god, bats. yeah. It's more of a preference thing. Yeah, th this was not an easy choice at all. Do you, do you have a pick? I got a pick. I have a pick. Alright. Oh, dude. Bring it. All right, I have a pick. It. I'm gonna go with the Bone Saber. Oh, wow. And I'll explain why. I respect the heck out of that. That bat's incredible. Incredible bat. They did such a good job with the two-piece. Honestly, it's a little bit more flexy. The forgiveness is crazy. Yep. Great feedback. It's a hot bat. Um, I will say my first round with this, there were some mishits just because I could like really fly the bat through the zone. Almost like more than you think you'd be able to. Oh yeah. It's like, it's like something to get used to almost. Yeah. That doesn't go to say though, like, I mean, this is a great bat. Yes. I mean, they did a really good job. Really good. I love how it looks. I feel comfortable in the box with it. Um, it's just a little bit softer than this, yep. but as far as a bat that you can game and feel comfortable in a big situation, great option. Great choice, bro. I like, I dig that. Here, uh, that camera that cover's just camera cover? creeping up. Yeah, oh, there, we like, there we go. All right, folks, I'm going to be real with you here. Very, very tough. Two of my favorite bats I've swung in a minute. Literally like this, these are in the conversation, I swear dude, I don't know about you, with the Atlas and the Voodoo One and the Caddx and the goods. 100% in that category, dude. 22s and 23s on the bat bro scale, potentially for these two bats, so freaking good. This is a hotter bat. My bat speed was better, I attribute a lot of that to the handle. It's just whippier, I don't know exactly how to explain that, even though the swing weight felt dang near the same, this is just a bit whippier and I was hitting the ball harder, but that's like the best round I've ever had in my life, dude. I, I barreled every single ball. It almost felt like I was dealing with like a beaser bat when it came to the sweet spot. It felt like I could just throw the barrel in the general area of where the ball was, and I was just smashing it. The sound was amazing. No breaking required. It's gonna be pretty durable, it seems like. The online reviews on this bat are freaking off the walls, man. I just hit so, so, so good with this bat to where like, you know, I would potentially game this thing just with how naturally it fits with my swing. But if I was swinging this for a month, maybe I'd get used to that handle, man. This would be like on deck for me as a potential gamer. Like right now, durability and everything considered, I like a little bit of swing weight with my bats. Like it's between the Atlas, the Bone Saber Hybrid, and the Select Power. Like those are like my personal three. If I'm buying a bat for myself, those are the main three bats I'm considering because you have durability issues with the Voodoo One and the Goods and the Cat X is just very light swinging, not like totally my cup of tea, even though it's amazing, but I'm going Select Power today, but these are like, I think in the rankings, these will probably be directly next to each other. I, I would think. They'll be like four and five or three and four or something like that. Incredible. 
putting together uh, initial bat bro scales for these bats. Select power, 23 overall, man. Freaking deserves it. 10, 9, 4. It's just a repaint of the last year's versions, and this thing is absolutely incredible. Best looking one yet, and absolutely amazing. Bone Saber Hybrid just blew us away. Best war stick bat I've ever swung. Uh, sweet spot, not as much as the select power. So, Zach, you'd say sweet spot on the Bone Saber, definitely better than, than like the Atlas. Makes sense. Dude, I, I'd maybe say like a nine on sweet spot, nine out of 10. Easy. It's awesome, yeah. Not quite 10, because the select power's got more, but yep. I think a nine is very fair. 10 on power, like come on. And then swing weight is a four, so. I think we're dealing with like almost the exact same bat bro scale, just a little more sweet spot, a little more pop, man. The rankings are gonna see a little mix up, I think, cause these are amazing folks. So if you like the video guys, make sure to drop a like, subscribe to the channel, head over to baseballbatbros.com to see our rankings. We have our merch over there as well. We'll see you guys next time. Peace out.